Hi, friends. So if you are watching this, you were not able to join our live session today um, to listen to the story, or maybe you just need a refresher from um, earlier for your activity, okay? So I want to start by asking you, have you ever wondered what Santa did before he was actually Santa? Well, when Santa was young and needed a job, no one was looking for a man in a red suit to deliver gifts on Christmas. So Santa tried just about everything from being a chimney sweep to a postman to a circus performer. But none of these jobs worked out for him. They all had a problem. So that is what your job today is going to be is to listen to this story and you should have printed out this worksheet. So in this story, it's going to explain six jobs that Santa Claus had. I want you to put them in order from his first job to his last job. But then you are coming up with what was the problem? Why were these jobs not the correct job for Santa? Okay, so as you're reading, you might want to write them down or you might want to just relax and enjoy the video and then go back and listen again and do the worksheet. It is totally up to you. All right. So here we go. How Santa got his job. Of course, you know me, one of my favorites. I don't read you books that I don't like. I'll show you the this way. When Santa Claus was a young man, he went looking for a job. Santa wanted no part of desks or offices. He liked to stay on the move. His first job was cleaning chimneys. Santa was sure-footed on even the steepest roofs, and he loved twisting through the tight spaces. All right, so remember, you're thinking about these jobs and the problem, not what made it good for him, the problem. But there was a problem. Santa was so neat that he never got covered in soot or made a mess in the fireplace. So nobody believed him when he said he was done. Where's the proof, said some. You're not even dirty, said others. This led to a lot of arguments. Remember it or write it down. Santa worked for the post office next where everyone could see that he was doing his job. Santa's favorite part was bringing packages to people all over town. Waiting in traffic was frustrating though. It's silly to waste all this time, he decided. To speed things up, he started making deliveries in the middle of the night. But there was a problem. No one was glad to see him at that hour. The postmaster got so many complaining letters that Santa had to leave. Mm. You're remembering these? Oh. Since Santa had discovered he enjoyed staying up late, he tried cooking at an all night diner. It felt good to fill orders for customers. Sometimes Santa even surprised people with extra helpings. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite, many of them insisted. Well, maybe just one. But there was a problem. Every night, Santa tasted and sampled and tasted some more before he brought anything out of the kitchen. He gained a lot of weight. Hmm. All these jobs, seem to have a problem, but they also kind of seem to help him become Santa Claus, don't they? Hoping to get some exercise, 
Santa then found a spot at the zoo. He was very organized about the animals. I know when they are sleeping, said Santa. And when they are awake. Over time, he also learned whether they were behaving themselves or not. Hmm. Sounds familiar. But there was a problem. Santa became close friends with the what? The reindeer and all the other animals got jealous. Sadly, the zookeeper had to let him go. Man, this is just not working out for Santa, is it? By now, Santa was starting to get discouraged. He didn't even notice what the reindeer were doing behind him. They worked hard to cheer him up. Together, they joined the circus. Soon the reindeer were shooting Santa out of a cannon three times a night. I'll show you, I'll show you the whole thing. <laughs> Santa liked flying through the air and wearing his new costume. He was a big success. But there was a problem. The ringmaster wanted to build up the suspense. You need to look more frightened, he told Santa. We want the crowd to worry about you. But Santa was having too much fun for that. Oh, 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 he always cried as they flew through the air. So the crowd wasn't worried at all. That guy, I love him. The angry ringmaster soon fired Santa and the reindeer. As they gathered their things, some elves came looking for autographs. When they heard the news, they invited Santa and the reindeer home for supper. The elves lived out of town. They were toy makers in their house was their workshop. Hmm, is that how they get together? Santa was amazed. Children must love these toys, he said. The elves looked embarrassed. They only made toys for their own pleasure. Selling them was too much trouble. What if you give them away, Santa asked. The elves hadn't thought of that. I could deliver them for you, Santa offered. There were enough toys here for children all over the world. The elf smiled and hired him on the spot. This one? Uh -oh. The elves made Santa a special sack that was always big enough no matter how many toys were put in it then they built him a sleigh the polar bears offered to pull it they were very strong and santa whipped across the snow but there was a problem it was the biggest one yet look the polar bears their noses To seem to surprise, this problem could be solved. Santa and the reindeer practiced together every day. They made a few mistakes at first, but soon they learned to work as a team. And you're really gonna have to infer on that last problem. In the darkest part of winter, when people need their spirits lifted the most, Santa got ready to go. As the elves said goodbye, they gave Santa an emergency kit. It held a compass, ski goggles, cough drops, and other things. Santa thanked them very much. All his jobs had taught him it was good to be prepared.
Then Santa and his reindeer took off. The first night was a little hard because Santa was still learning about shortcuts and high winds. But at last, he got the hang of it. Ever since then, the elves have made toys all year and Santa has given them away in one night. He loves his job as much as ever and he's gotten pretty good at it over the years. Still, he always keeps his emergency kit close by. This is my favorite part. Because no job is perfect. What happens? Did he get tangled around the moon? Hope that's on his way back to the North Pole and not over to our houses. All right, so that is how Santa got his job. And um, like we learned, he had a lot of jobs before he got his final official job. So it is your time now to sequence first job to the last job and the problem that came with each job. And then for your discussion post, you want to make sure you're just picking your favorite job that he had before he became Santa Claus. So this last one is not Santa Claus. Okay, so six jobs before he became Santa Claus. And you pick your favorite one and the problem that went with it and post it on our discussion post. All right, have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.